Hi everybody, Mark here from PondAlgaeSolutions.com and uh, interestingly I had another question come in today and it was actually as I was uploading a video talking about how to dose beneficial microbes in your pond and I talked more about amounts and uh, making sure you don't underdose and things like that but I forgot to mention anything about frequency and this question came in just a little bit late, but early enough to cover it in another video. So let me do that now. Depending on the product, depending on the brand and the product itself, there certainly should be something in the instructions that talks about dosing frequency. This could vary a little bit because not all the microbes have a, a similar lifespan. Some are very uh, potent, let's call it potent, but they're shorter lived. And then other ones are better for a nice, long, stable, you know, period of work. And so it's going to vary a little bit. A good example of that would be of the various products we have. The, the BioBlast the Biosphere Blast, which is a supplement, it's not a primary treatment, it's a supplement to the Biosphere product, is one of those short-term punches. It's meant to be used in times of, you know, high heat, stress, times when we just need to do a little bit more or, or up the ante a little bit more to try to turn things around. The Blast helps to supplement a more steady treatment. So it's a very short, short-lived thing. We still only add it once a month, but it's meant to be used in accordance with the biospheres. The biospheres themselves are sort of unique in the industry in that they have a time release mechanism. And so you can expect 30 to 35 days out of each treatment, out of each sphere. And that's unusual because if you look at powders and liquids in general, in general, you're going to dose those every two weeks to every three weeks, maybe. Most, I think, are commonly applied every two weeks but read the labels see what they suggest the dosing frequency is something I generally don't modify I stay pretty true with that the dose itself may vary quite a bit as I mentioned in that previous video but the, the frequency and the timing just follow what they suggest and you should be fine the other thing I want to mention before leaving here uh, about beneficial bacteria that I also failed to bring up, but if we're talking about it, let's do it here. Not such a thing to worry about right now as we move from mid-spring into late spring and early summer. The temperatures are, are moderating up. They're getting nicer and the water temperatures are moving above 55, 60 degrees. And so almost any beneficial bacteria will work right now in terms of just, you know, if they're not designating any kind of a seasonality or usage, then pretty much anything's going to work. But there's no question that not every product is going to be all season. The Biosphere product that we have is all season. With the Pond Biotics line that we have, we actually have two blends. One is a, a warm water formula, uh, summer formula, if you will. 55, 60 degrees and above, we'll use that. If the water temperature is below 60 degrees, we'll move to what we call a polar blend, which is a cold water bacteria. And so they're a little more specific. And then you also have microbes that are specifically designed for muck reduction and elimination. <clears throat> these are usually in a pellet, uh, pellet or capsule form, and all of these are warm water. There is no exception to that. The type of microbials that are used in there work in warmer water only. They will not work in cold. They'll go dormant in that you know, in temperatures below 55, 60 degrees. So keep that in mind. And when you're shopping around, make sure that you get something that is suited to your seasonality, to your water temperatures. And like I say, most, if they don't have any designation on them, they're not really talking about any of that uh, temperature detail or seasonality detail, then they're probably warm water bacteria and can be used in temps 55 and up. The final comment I want to make about beneficial microbes, people ask, well, should I use them all the time? And it's a good question, too, because at a base level, I try to use them only as a supplement. My intent is to bring them into the pond environment to give it a good 
dose of, of microbes for a month or two and then stop and let it go. Just see how it does on its own, particularly if it clears a pond up of problems, odors and growths and plant uh, unwanted plant growth. Um, I'm going to stop anyway after 60 days or so and I'm going to see if everything holds. I'm going to see if I've done what I wanted to do and everything is good. A lot of times, particularly if you have aeration going, you can rely on the aeration to maintain a lot of that good work. But there are cases, particularly, where there's a very high nutrient influx and it never wanes. It's very constant. And in those cases, uh, which is similar to the example that I gave in that previous video about that quarter acre pond that we managed and tested in the early years, that was one of those cases where we really had to treat every month in the season, the primary growing season, which was March through uh, September. And in that way, we could keep that pond clean and clear. It looked beautiful, but the nutrients never waned. They were always there and we had to offset them. Most ponds aren't going to be under that kind of stress or load. And so much of the time we see a lot of customers use the microbes early in the season just to prime things up and to get things off in a good good start and then they just kind of ride through the season and they may supplement every now and then with another shot of microbes just to keep things in balance but I usually let the pond tell me when it needs a little more support and you'll know if you've cleared a pond up uh, through a biological treatment and you've gotten some duration out of that time things have looked good but all of a sudden maybe a little bit of algae starts creeping back well something's throwing your balance off again and so if you want to bring another treatment in short term, you can do that and just let the pond tell you what it needs going forward. So anyway, I hope that ties up a few of the loose ends regarding beneficial bacteria and microbial use in the pond. If you have any questions, always feel free. Reach out to me at pondalgesolutions.com. Happy to help and I hope you have a great day. Take care.